If you or someone you know is suffering from pink eye, you may be confused about a lot of the misconceptions related to pink eye or conjunctivitis. Can you go to work? Can your kid go to school? Is it contagious? What caused it and how do I treat it? Today, I'm here to help unravel those truths and expose four common myths associated with pink eye. I'm Meg Conover, physician assistant, internal medicine, and I'm here to expose four myths about pink eye. If you find this content helpful, please watch some more videos, give a like, subscribe, and even leave a comment. It helps me get more information to more people. Let's get into it. First, some background information. There are three types of pink eye, viral, bacterial, and allergic. Not all types are created equal. Here's the first myth. All pink eye needs treatment. This is not true. Typical pink eye is usually caused by a virus and it usually goes away on its own. You can see it related to common cold symptoms and even COVID lately. You'll have congestion, sneezing, coughing, nasal drainage, and you'll have some drainage of the eye. It's usually clear and it can feel a little bit sandy. Rest assured, this goes away on its own in one to two weeks and does not need treatment. Allergic conjunctivitis is caused by antihistamines and an allergy to something in the environment. Maybe it's pollen, maybe it's trees, maybe it's perfume. It usually causes a clear eye discharge. It can look a lot like tearing. This does need treatment and it can be treated with antihistamine drops, but it's not contagious. The last type, bacterial, is the one that is most contagious and does require antibiotic eye drops or ointment. Myth number two is my favorite of all. You can get pink eye if someone farts on your pillow. This is just not true. Gas from farts is caused by methane. It doesn't cause pink eye, but you can get pink eye by touching poop. This includes diaper changing, especially of young children or toddlers. Any residue from fecal matter, stool, or poop gets on your hands, then gets in your eyes. You can get bacterial pink eye. Myth number three, pink eye is always contagious. This is just not true. As we talked about earlier, viral pink eye is contagious in the form of colds, the same way they're contagious, viruses. Bacterial pink eye can be contagious from touch, but allergic conjunctivitis or pink eye is not contagious. So two forms of pink eye are pretty contagious, bacterial and viral. Allergic pink eye is not contagious. And myth number four is probably the most problematic of all and creates the most stress for parents. If your child has pink eye, they need to stay home from school. This isn't true. If your child has allergic pink eye, it's not contagious. They can go to school no problem. If your child has bacterial pink eye, they see the doctor, they get antibiotic ointment or drops. It will not be contagious in 24 hours. They may still have drainage from the eye. It'll probably look pretty bad, but they can go back to school within 24 hours of starting antibiotic treatment. Now, Viral pink eye. If your kid's really sick, at home with a virus, has fevers, it's totally reasonable not to send them to school. However, if they're tolerating well, they have minimal symptoms, and their eye is just a little bit red from a pink eye caused by a virus, it will be no more contagious than a cold. So it's up to your school or daycare center how you handle that. But it's possible they may be able to go to school. Same goes for parents and work. You don't really have to miss work unless you have a new onset of bacterial pink eye that needs antibiotics. If you have used antibiotics for 24 hours, you can return to work and not worry about spreading pink eye to others. If you have a cold or a virus pink eye, it can be spread to others just like a cold. So I would recommend following the same guidelines you would follow if you had a cold and whether or not you'd attend work. If you have pink eye due to allergies, uh, pollen or other things, it's not contagious, you can go to work. I hope this video has helped dispel some of the common myths associated with pink eye. If you have pink eye or a family member has pink eye, I hope you feel more confident in handling it, seeking the right type of treatment, and deciding whether or not you can go to work or your child can go to school. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please watch the next video recommended, subscribe, hit the like button, or even better, leave a comment. I'm Meg Conover, physician associate, and I'll see you in the next one.